The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. What is the most important question in both of your minds to ask the doctor who may be performing this? Because obviously, I think anyone who's going to get the procedure wants it done by someone who's competent. I mean, but, right. but Dr. Goldstein, you said, look, if you feel like your orgasms may be cervical in nature, right. talk to your doctor about that. But and, okay. And make sure the doctor stays to a limited resection. That's the key. And is, that, is that just making sure and having the conversation look? Because the thing is, the one thing I will say, I've seen hack jobs. And sometimes it's after the fact. <laughs> it's after. And so with okay. you, I would be, if. I would be confident, but if you're if you're going to see a new doctor and you're you're worried about this as a potential risk, do you is it okay to say to your doc, look, I just I want to make sure you're just removing the I think you need to say I don't amount. I want to have kids. Sexual function is very important to me. I want to make sure you take as little as possible, but most importantly, it's okay to ask your doctor how many have you done? If your doctor says I've done five, then you know yeah. Yeah. Then can you I should ask, worry about can it. Ask, can I ask Dr. Elgadi if she's ever asked women what's the primary source of their orgasm? I haven't, because, because in it's not, 20 it's years I've never patient. had a single patient complain well, about it. So, well, there's I mean, 700 you, people in the support group, okay? Are you, are they're you, not my patients. Are you, the 700 patients, probably they had their cervix removed with this procedure. I'm saying this procedure does not remove your cervix. If you go to someone and they chop off your cervix, it will affect your sexual dysfunction. I want to make sure people get the, you know, take this message home that if it's done right, I've never seen a complication with it. And this. I know what your fear is, and this is so valid. Your fear is that a woman might watch this show and have precancerous lesions and say, no way I'm having that procedure done because I saw in the doctors that it might cause some sexual dysfunction. And then your concern is, oh my gosh, she could go on to develop cancer. Let's not have that be the case. I think this is about having an open, honest conversation, making sure, as with any procedure in medicine, you have to make sure that you're going to the best doctor for you, given your circumstances and what you need done. Do ask how often you do it. Do ask how much do you remove. Do ask, have any of your patients ever experienced any issues with sexual dysfunction after this? You haven't. And, and, and ask these honest questions. And you could also ask for referrals, potentially. Can I talk to other women who've had this done? But what I want to focus on right now is you, Rhonda, because clearly you've been through so very much because you've suffered. We reached out to Dr. Jack Zamora in your area. He wants to perform a radio frequency and ultrasound vaginal rejuvenation treatment for you if it's something that you would like. If you're a good candidate, he wants to offer this service to you free of charge. That would be wonderful, thank you. And I'd just like to reiterate, I had a top hat lead, which took far more than just a regular lead. And thank you so much for referring me to him. Rhonda, thank, thank you for joining us and sharing your story. Dr. Goldstein, thank you so much for sharing your research with us. Thank you. Be well. Dr. Alibadi, thank you. Thank you, too. And, and these are always tough issues in medicine. Very tough. Yeah. But uh, I've always said with you what I love is you're a champion, first and foremost, for oh. your patients. And, and never lose that.